Today in this video, I'm going to open 125 golden gifts and a rare drop. Drop a like, subscribe down below as we're trying to reach 940,000 subscribers by the end of the year. It's so far away. I've said it's impossible, but you guys believe it. You're making me believe too. I wasn't actually going to record this today. I was going to leave it until next week to make it. But then I just recorded the tournament reward opening for my Road to the Red title video a couple of days ago. And it was literally the luckiest tournament opening I've ever had. I'm not going to spoil what I got, how I got it, etc, etc. But I will say, like, I'm not going to spoil the specifics. I will say, with 120,000 tournament credits, I got five painted black markets. That's how insane the opening was. So if you haven't seen that video, go back and watch my Road to Red title video. Because it's just an absolute banger. I know it is because I just made it. And I was thinking, if my luck's that good, why don't I utilize that good luck and film a massive golden gift opening? Because obviously I recently did a crate war against Trihouse. Started out really well. Made some really lucky calls. Stole a black market of his. And then just got beaten in the grand finale. So I need to try and rede redeem myself with some good crate luck. With my biggest golden gift opening of all time so far with the golden gift 22 125 and then if you guys really like this video i might as you can see i've got the inventory for it do a 200 golden gift opening in like a few days in the new year that sort of thing now obviously you guys christmas it's been and gone it's that weird middle period where you don't know what to do between christmas and new year for me it's the 23rd of december so sucks to be you i'm joking i really shouldn't make fun of my viewers but at the same time i've got christmas to come and then again you guys have already enjoyed it i'm yet to have the happy memories that you guys have probably forgotten by now uh so yeah it's a very exciting but one thing i will say about christmas i feel like i just completely wasted my morning i don't know if it's just me i don't know how old you are of course watching this but does it just is it just me or does it feel like christmas is kind of like presents just aren't really important if you're like a teenager or something like that, you may absolutely adore the presents. You may love the presents your parents get you. For, but for me, I struggle so much. I genuinely would be very happy if I could say to all of my loved ones, say, look, don't get me any present. I'm not going to get you a present and don't get me a present in return. And then we can just spend time together. That would be so much better because I just, I'm, I don't like the obligation to get meaningless gifts. Does that make sense? Don't get me wrong. If there's something that I know a family member of mine or a loved one of mine, for example, needs, I love that. I love getting people gifts that they need. But let's say they're all taken care of, particularly parents I'm talking about here. Yes! Yes! I thought it was painted, but it was the color of the accent on the car. That's that's all I want for Christmas. That's all I want. Thank you, Rocket League. If anyone's going to get me anything I want for Christmas, it's Rocket League. And you, by dropping a like and subscribing. I don't want any gifts. Just want a like and a subscription down below. That is sick. That is good crate luck. Let's carry on with more than 100 crates to go. But, obviously, when you're my age, you're in your mid-20s, and you're, you have parents to think about buying gifts for, they're usually pretty old obviously not in the grand scheme of things but my parents are in their 50s oh that's looking nice so there's no point getting them rubbish little trinkets and stuff like that i've also got my mum for secret santa i can say that in this video because it's going up after christmas i have no idea what to get because secret santa is basically like a little joke kind of rubbishy present but my parents, they don't need anything. And I like getting people stuff they need and would genuinely appreciate rather than getting them like little knickknacks. So what the heck do I get? I went out shopping today for like two hours. I was looking at all sorts of things. I found a little, it was called a measuring spoon. And it was like an ice cream scoop with a like a button that could basically make it shallower or deeper, the spoon, so you could measure out like stuff in the kitchen. It got to that point. I, I genuinely, the one thing I saw that I thought I could get my dad, I was like, I could get him a flask. That'd be quite cool. My sister's gone and got it for him. I have absolutely no idea what I'm going to get my presents. It's the 23rd of December. I don't have any presents and I don't know what to do. I literally don't know what to do. I don't know what you get people that don't want anything. And I'm the same way. People say I'm very hard to buy for, but that's because I tell people genuinely, I'm like, seriously, please don't feel obliged to get me anything. For me, Christmas is 100% always has been and always will be about spending time with my family and i'm blessed that i get to do that on christmas day i don't care about gifts i don't want gifts getting them is a ball ache if i don't know what to get by all means send me a christmas list and i'll buy something off the list but trying to wing it i feel like i've gone through every possible dvd box set over the years for my parents that's the main thing i think about getting and i usually get them thinking hmm, there's the series my parents like i don't know if they have it on dvd and then i look at a dvd box set and i'm like i'm sure i've got that for them before and if you get them a present they've already got it's curtains because they have to be like polite about it but at the, at the same time they're either not going to use it 
I probably lost the receipt, so you can't return it. And it's just a waste of a gift. So can you tell I'm a little bit stressed out in that sense? I'm just going to wing it. I'll probably just... I mean, for Secret Santa, I have to get something because... I can't just, like, for my parents, I could say, look, I didn't get you a gift on the day, but how about we discuss something you might actually need, and I can get it for you whenever it suits you best. Because it doesn't have to necessarily be on the day when you're adults. I don't think anyone really cares that much about it. But for Secret Santa, that's not necessarily coming from me. That just comes from someone, and everyone's going to get one. So if I'm the only one who doesn't get my mum a Secret Santa present, everyone's got a present except my mum. So i got to think of something, and I don't know what to do, and I'd ask your opinion in the comments, but it's too late! It's too late, so I'm having a Christmas nightmare. I don't know what to do, but luckily Rocket League knows how to give good gifts because we got ourselves a mainframe. So let me know your opinions on that down in the comments. What are your strategies for Christmas? Do you actually care about getting presents? I mean, it's nice, but then again, it just comes back to me personally. It's only nice if it's something I'm looking for slash want. You know what I mean? And if I want something that badly, I've probably gone and got it myself at any other time of the year because let's say you want something one day and you get it that's a regular scenario there are 365 days in the year so chances are the day that you want something is not gonna be christmas day so chances are you've already got it obviously if you're a child or a teenager it might be a little bit different and it is, it is a different dynamic it was the same for me but as an adult i just feel lost that's another thing about being an adult we're not adults we're just big children you know, you, when you're a kid, you think, you know what? I can't wait to grow up. I'm going to be an adult. You look around. Everyone looks like they've got it going on. They know what they're doing. Everyone's got no clue. You just assume when you're a kid that age means you've got it together. I feel exactly the same as when I was like 16 years old. I know I don't look the same. I don't carry myself the same way. I suppose I'm... I, the only thing that changes for me personally as an adult... And I suppose it's because it comes with a responsibility and knowing that you're all in the same boat and all that is being able to socialize and interact better with other adults. And when I say adults, I still mean people 10 plus years older than me. I don't look at people my age and think they're an adult. I just think, oh, they're a guy or a girl like me. I don't think I'm an adult. But if you're like whatever age you are, I feel like in adulthood, if someone's like 10 plus years older than you, they're a proper adult. And I just don't feel like a proper adult. And Christmas is just another example of that, where I just feel like I haven't got it together at all. Speaking of that, though. Well, not speaking of that. That looks sick. Titanium White Synthwave. Don't mind that. What I'm going to do, I'm going to open down to 375, which is the first 50 crates. Then I'll do best items only for the final 75, now that I've had my Christmas rant. A lot of Titanium White, which is good. Then I'll do all the trade-ups. And to be fair, it's been a good start. We had a mainframe. Always... Always, I will always take a mainframe. We've had some non-painted exotics, which we can trade up. And a few titanium white painted stuff. So we'll open this one. Sentinel Cobalt. Oh, pink. I really thought I got that color right. I was trying to guess it before it came up. But yeah, if you don't know, I am in fact colorblind. So that is why that was a bit of an L. Uh, but there we go. A very rare. And now I'll see you when we get something sick. Something that's not regular Shakrams. Oh! Oh! Oh, we got a wet paint. I was just watching an Impractical Joker clip whilst I was going through the crates. We got a second black market. I tell you what, I don't, I'm don't. i not wanting for more than that. A mainframe and a wet paint. I'm happy with that. Let's get some more exotics, get some trade-up material, and finish this with a bang. This has been good. I don't know if I've had an opening so far with multiple black markets in the crate from the golden gift. So this is actually a huge dub. Yeah, this is the best one so far. I'll tell you what, there's been a lot of items like this. We had white Shakrams, I didn't show you. We got white Gaidens, I think black Yamanes. I'm just seeing a lot of these items thinking, is it worth putting in? But just so you know, we've had some good stuff. Oh! Oh, yes! Another black market, a painted one this time. Lime Neuro Agitator, this is officially my best golden gift opening. We haven't even opened 100 yet. We have 29 more to go. If you haven't dropped a like already, please do drop a like and subscribe. Thank you. Which boost is it going to be? Ninja Star. Woo! I'm too good. I am built different. Uh, Comet. Oh my god, he's two for two. This is what he does. That's the extent to which we're pulling highlights from now because even painted exotics. If they're not white zombies, white drakers, doesn't do it for me anymore. We got the mystery blanket in Rocket League. I'll take that. Yeah, I found out how to do it. I'm unreal. I've broken crates. Come on, big finish. Ooh, Cobalt Creepers. It's not terrible. Looked a bit weird, but we got two more crates to go. 
Then I'll trade up everything. I'll show you any cool very rares. Pro probably just black or white reapers, to be honest, because I've got every other cool painted very rare and haven't shown you this video. Then we'll get some sick imports, I guess. Then some sick exotics. And then some sick black markets. All right, here we go. This is it. Come on. Infinium's regular. Nothing crazy there. Can we get better? Nope, not with the go. Not so I'm feeling a zombie now. Oh, my colorblind eyes have done it again. Was I the only one who thought I just called a titanium white zomba? Was I the only one? Oh, that was it. I mean, I did call it still. There's Lime Neoyos there. Okay, not terrible. Draco's non-painted. Okay. And there we go. These are what we've got. That can go, that can go, that can go, that can go. And Loki. That can go as well. Oh, no. We, we, okay, we can keep everything that's titanium white apart from the synth plate. That's fair enough. Come on. Ragins. That is fuming at that one. Okay, most recent. Let's see if we can trade up. So, golden gift, golden gift, golden gift. Golden gift, golden gift. Bang! Yes! Crimson mainframe from the golden gift 22. The gift that keeps on giving. The crane frame. Things you love to see. I'm going to keep the sky blue zombies. Chuck in the cobalt roulettes. Bang! Oh, intrudium. I swear if that wasn't golden... I think I might have just got shafted by that roulette. Oh, no. That is golden gift 22. Okay, there we go. Cobalt. Not cobalt. Crimson mainframe. Absolutely ludicrous. Absolutely ludicrous. I've got a select favorites two dueling dragons, by the way. Unbelievable. That's going to go in the archive because why not? That's going to go in the archive because why not? What an opening. And that is why I call it the gift that keeps on giving. Thank you so much for spending your time with me today. If you did enjoy this video, please do drop a like. Subscribe down below to join the Pixel Army. I've been Pixel. You have been awesome. And I'll see you in the next video very soon.